Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session will be on 2D continuum element overview and in this particular video you are going to learn and get information on uh, plane stress, plane strain element, axis symmetry element and where we can use this element. So Abacus having a vast library, most of the people use uh, uh, 3D continuum uh, shell or 3D continuum solid element but very rarely people use this uh, the tool which uh, uh, abacus have is a 2d continuum element now uh, the name is saying 2d so because you just have to uh, model in a two dimension plane but actually these are the 3d they, they represent a 3d model now uh, what particular element abacus have in this uh, domain uh, they have uh, plane stress plane strain and axis symmetry so in today's session you'll learn where we can use this element reduce the big problem into smaller problem and get reasonably well answered believe me guys there are a lot of 3d dimensional problem which you can reduce in a simplified way using this element and still get very accurate reasonable answer now abacus in this particular uh, case have three uh, uh, element like this you have plane strain which is called as a cpe4 plane stress which is CPS4 and then axis symmetry element CAX4 now guys just just looked into uh, the picture of this so if you see a plane strain element CPE4 you see the third dimension so you have X and Y so you have 1 and 2 is on this face and the third dimension which is very large so plane strain alum, uh, element assume that out of plane strain epsilon 330 and you can use this type of element where actually uh, when you have to model a thick structure so take an example of a dam water dam or you see a large pipe undersea pipe uh, or you see a lot of uh, the couple of problem which we do on a metal forming is a uh, sheet metal bending or something like a channel formation where actually your third dimension is so large compared to your cross section where you can assume and uh, this assumption is uh, uh, true when your third dimension very large so your strain in the third dimension is zero now opposite of this plane strain there is a uh, element called, uh, called as a uh, plane stress element now if you looked into this picture your third dimension is very large but if you looked at it as a plane strain element your third dimension is very small so you if you have something like a very thin sheet thin membrane a thin part something like a sheet metal part or uh, take an example of DVD disc so DVD disc is a very thin so the the the, the out of plane stress which is a third direction stress is zero so for uh, opposite to plane strain element plane stress element assume that out of uh, plane stress epsilon uh, sigma 3 3 is zero so here your strain is zero here your stress is zero and they can use to model a thin structure this is for thick structure this is for thin structure now you take a example of a disc brake uh, of a bike your disc is so so small so you can model those type of problem using uh, plane stress approach there are a lot of uh, other uh, real real time structure which you can model using this then third is actually uh, if you looked into plane stress and plane strain they just have two degree of freedom so they have one and two they don't have a, there is no uh, third degree of freedom but for if you see at the axis symmetry element you take uh, any structure which is a uh, uh, three degree uh, 360 degree rotated so those type of structure you can use you can model using axis symmetry modeling so you have three uh, three degree of freedom you have r this is theta and z so any uh, set uh, disc or pressure vessel there are a lot of uh, bellows rubber engine mount where you, your structure is a 360 degree rotated now guys one important point even though if structure is 360 degree rotated your loading also has to be axis symmetry so when structure and loading both are axis symmetry you can use this uh, axis symmetry element CAX4 to model this type of problem now just just looked into what are the different problem I just put some picture here but once you through with this type of 2d continuum element you can model a lot of things using this so if you take a plane stress thin 
thin structure say rotating dvd you can model this using a plane stress element because it's a third dimension is so thin the stress in third direction zero you can have something like a, a bike disc brake is there which you can model uh, you can model a lot of thin structure in in plane loading now for plane strain take example of dam your third dimension is so so large then you can model the dam just using a, a plane strain element instead of modeling a large structure you can model this take undersea water pipeline so oil pipeline so this is the third 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 dimension is so large so take an example uh, we will be will be modeling couple of this problem for plane strain and plane stress so get a more more clarity on this so take an example of pipe under sea water pipe the third dimension is so large now the strain in third direction is uh, almost zero now suppose this pipe uh, exposed to a uh, say thermal stress for example there is a change of uh, temperature and because of that if they go to a um, thermal stress now for thermal stress those type of problem you don't have to model a whole pipe whole pipeline the whole length you can just model a cross section you know the third direction is very big so the strain in third direction is zero and then you can just model a, a cross section and see how much is the uh, deformation because of the plane so you we already done a couple of problem on the plane st uh, uh, plane stress is like a sheet metal bending or channel formation you can look into those those we can model using a, a plane strain element now other for axis symmetry you have engine mount look look structure which is a 360 degree rotator also make sure that um, uh, the loading is also axis symmetric you can have a lot of pressure vessels even though there are some uh, some of this is not axis symmetry but you can ignore that and get at initial design level a good answer how, how structure is going to be, be under the internal pressure or vacuum pressure using this there are a lot of um, uh, medical device like uh, bellows so if you see these bellows not all bellows but if you see some of these bellows they are actually axis symmetry you need to sometime perform how they can uh, use in a medical uh, field uh, to uh, to uh, eject a medicine so those type of problem you can model using these guys so uh, this was short video I can just summarize in the 2d continuum you have three element plane strain plane stress and axis symmetry plane strain the third direction strain is zero wherever the the structure third dimension is very large when you have to model a thick structure you can use this element for plane stress if the model is thin structure you can reduce the problem using plane strain and axis symmetry if there is a 360 degree rotation with the uh, with the axis symmetry loading you can use axis symmetry uh, element so this was a short video guys on a 2d continuum element just to give you uh, some information so you can uh, go and model a good modeling converting a lot of 3d problem into 2d problem if you have any doubt any question you can send an email to at abacusacumen at gmail.com uh, also uh, to take this project forward we need a lot of your help so don't forget to like us or subscribe us uh, um, abacusacumen thanks bye bye